Hi, this is Kevin from the front desk. Yes. Um, we're having some problems with your room. It looks like we're going to have to move you to a different room tonight. No, you're not. And uh, I'm sorry, we don't usually do this this late at night. I'm really sorry about the call, but... Yeah, we... Why do you have to room me? I, I'm, I'm sleeping. There's nothing wrong with my room. Well, we've got a celebrity coming in, and uh, they specifically asked for your room number. They, oh, they always... come on now. It's the middle of the night now. Yeah, I'm really sorry. We can comp you for a night if, if you'd like, and... You'll get a free free stay for the night. But we just need to move you up to the third floor. Oh, come on. Who's the celebrity? It's uh, Carrot Top. Oh, God. I'm really sorry, Em. Honey, I'm, a, I'm sleeping. It's the middle of the night. Why would they ask for my room? They, this is just the room that he always gets when he comes to this hotel, and he comes here a lot to do shows. And uh, we can comp you for a night, though. We can give you a free stay. So kind of be worth oh the free. Oh my God! Kind of be worth a free stay, though. You know, just to come down here and we can uh, have you re-register, and we'll put you up on the third floor. Oh, right now? Yeah, I'm, I'm, we were, we seriously we don't do this very often. I'm really sorry to call so late at night. We can yeah, I would think so. It's the middle of the night. I'm sound asleep. Yeah, we can give you a free ticket to a show and everything. No, I don't care about the show. I mean, I know who it is. Yeah. Carrot Top. Yeah. I know who it is. No, I don't need a ticket to a show, that's for sure. Okay, but well, we can give you a free night, though. What is your name? This is Kevin from the front desk. Kevin, uh... Oh, God. So and what's going to happen now? I mean... We'll just have you re-register and put you on the third floor. It would actually be a nicer room. And, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll, I'll go ahead and take the charge off your card and everything. And he's he's actually down here right now. You can meet him if you'd like. No, I don't care. Okay. I won't I tell him that, though. Him. What? I won't tell him that, though. No, I mean... So how much time... I, oh, it'll this only is take really a, disturbing. It'll only take a minute, ma'am. We, we can do this as quickly as possible. And... <laughs> I really don't want to do this. My room is, you know... No, I'm, I'm really sorry about this. We, the, the, the celebrities have priority over, you know, regular people. Oh, like bullshit them. with celebrities. I don't care. I don't care if it's Frank Sinatra, you know. Mm -hmm. They're no better than you or I, believe me. Believe me. He wants 228, he wants that room. Yeah, that's just the... That's always the one. He's been coming here for years, and that's the room he gets. So would it be possible for you to come down then? Um, we'll, we'll take Pardon care of me? This. Would it be possible for you to come on down, and we'll, we'll uh, get this? I'm not show. coming downstairs, believe me. I'm in my nightshirt. I'm sleeping. My room is a mess. It's going to take me 15 minutes to get myself changed. I mean, to get myself together to get out of here. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, just... it's a free room now. We can give you one free room for the night. <sighs> Carrot Top would really appreciate this. Why didn't? Why wasn't I told of this when I moved here? When I got here? We weren't expecting him tonight. It, it just kind of showed up. And um, usually he reserves the rooms in advance, and we're able to get that room for him easily. But yeah. But you know, it's just kind of an, an unexpected visit. If you don't come down here and. Uh, I'm not coming downstairs, believe me. Okay, well, could we send someone up and they'll help you move and we'll just have you... Please go. do that. Okay. Well, Please can... send someone, uh, because I'm not coming downstairs. Maybe I can send Carrot Top up and he'll help you move. What? Maybe I can send Carrot Top up and he'll help you don't move. Don't send him. Don't send him, no. I don't care about him. I mean, I don't care about that. Okay. Well, we'll do this for you and then we, we can go ahead and take care of the registration tomorrow. I am not coming downstairs, believe oh, me. Okay, that, that's fine. We'll, we'll go ahead and... Now you've got to have someone come in and clean the room. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that quickly before he gets in there. You know, I do not... I, 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 I find this appalling. I absolutely find this appalling. I was hoping you'd appreciate the free free one-night stay for, for the trouble. I mean, it, who are you going to send up here? Who, who oh, are you? Well, I'll send the other front desk guy up to take care of it. I, I won't let Carrot Top in your room until you're out. I would hope not you're sending this guy up here. 
Okay. Well, well um, would you like me to go on and send someone up for you? <laughs> I just... Is this for sure? I Is this real? No, it's a fucking prank. <laughs> I just feel like an idiot. What? <laughs> no, I'm at the front desk for real. We're just messing with the customers. I'm sorry, man. We, we do this just to pass the time. It's really slow at night, and I'm, I do apologize. Is this a joke? I just explained to you that it was. Probably pay for it. Pro pro probably pay for it. Wow, 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 wow. Carrot Top will be coming to our store? Yeah. Like, he's going to bring in watermelons and a sledgehammer. He'll pay for any damages. Probably pay for it. Probably pay for it. Wow, wow, wow. Here's a quick run. Apologize. Are you a Carrot Top fan? Am I a Carrot Top fan? Yes, I, I know who Carrot Top is. Like, he's gonna bring in watermelons and a sledgehammer. He's gonna be, like, smashing them in the store. But that's not respectful. That's not respectful. That, that's disrespectful. Disrespectful. Are you a... We try this on. We try this on. We try this on. We try this on. Are you a... We try this on. The hot out here is just you. It's just you. <laughs> but that's not respectful. That's not respectful. Thank you for that Carrot Top intro, Jeff Baldwin. I think that prank I played before it was the oldest Carrot Top prank call there is that I've done. That was from about 10 years ago. So you're listening to The Snowplow Show. This is episode 519. Today is Sunday, December 16th, 2018. I don't think I'm going to get this released on Sunday. So my apologies if you're hearing this on a Monday. But you can blame the sponsors of this show for that. Jim Dusky and FOD87, Nagler, Gobi, and Random. They're the sponsors of today's show. Thanks for supporting the show, you guys. And girl. One thing before we get started with today's show. Casey Jones does PLA Comics. You might think that Olga is the only PLA comic strip drawer around here. But no, there's eight issues of Casey Jones' PLA comic. The latest is a Western based on the go cup guy you know the andy anderson i don't go to the go cup places guy and he finally set up a page for these on facebook so you can see all of the comics now they're all in one place there's a sensei doug one with snake eyes and there's a lieutenant tuck pendleton one i don't know there's just all kinds of stuff there's a wheelchair ramp one everyone should be reading these things so i'm gonna put a link in the show notes at snowplowshow.com if you want to see all of these it's called mutinous comics on facebook Facebook.com slash Mutinous Comics. Thanks, Casey Jones, for putting these together. They're so much better than Olga's comics. Olga's got nothing on you. No, I'm just kidding, Olga. Just kidding. Your comics are so much better than Casey Jones. Hello to the new patrons who've recently joined up over at Patreon.com slash Phone Losers. There's a few of them this month. There's Reese and Ocular Pat Down, Brandon B. Denmark is a real country. Yeah, whatever. That's just his name. It's not me saying that. I don't believe that. Probix, Brandon McSee, and Argon the Element. Those are all new patrons. Thanks, you guys, for signing up and supporting the show. I think that's about it for the intro. Let's get started with the show. Let's play some commercials first, because everyone loves commercials. Got to pay the bills around here, you know. Introducing the Cellular One high-performance machine. Sleek, ultra-modern style. And under the hood, more than 27,000 square feet of unparalleled cellular service and sales. Right now, you can get a Cellular One phone for only $99 a month installed, plus your choice of a radar detector, cordless phone, or an answering machine absolutely free. Cellular One, the driving force in cellular phones. Thank you for calling Sales for Diamond Store. We celebrate life and express love. This is Sheena. How can I help you? Hey, Sheena. Uh, this is the, um, I'm the mall Santa. I'm the guy that's doing the mall Santa here in the mall. Uh-huh. Hi. Hey. Uh, I just wanted to call you up and uh, apologize. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, sorry. My manager said I had to. 
Why? Just because it's the right thing to do. I should just apologize. What did you do? Well, I, I, don't, I don't feel comfortable saying. I just, oh, okay. You know, I just wanted to apologize for, for just for everything. What I did, what I said, whatever, you know, whatever comments I made about you. Okay, thank you. So I'm just really sorry about it all. Okay, have a great day. I shouldn't have been like that. Okay, thank you. It, have a good day. It wasn't very Santa-like of me. Okay, bye-bye. All right, bye. That's going about as well as it did on the hobo show that I did this on, so I need to drop this pretty much ASAP. This is dumb. This is Yankee Candles, where we are now personalizing candles just for you. This is Allison speaking. How can I help you? Oh, hey, Allison. This is Santa Claus here in the mall. Yes, sir. And uh, my manager said that I needed to call you up and apologize to you. Why? Because I don't just, you know, like he's just kind of asserting his authority and saying that it was really inappropriate and I need to apologize to you. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, this is Allison, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, I'm just, I'm really sorry. It was not very Santa-like of me to, for, for that, and I'm just sorry, okay? Oh, okay, but I don't know what you're talking about, so. <laughs> yeah, well, we don't have to really get into it, you know, it's, it's embarrassing. All right. But I really am sorry. It's very inappropriate. All right, well, I accept your apology. Do you really want me to tell you? Um, well, uh, I, I don't, I don't know who, what happened or, or, or yeah. whatever, but, um. Maybe I shouldn't. Yep, don't, don't worry about it. We're good. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm All right. like, I hope this doesn't, um, you know, mess up your view of, of Santa because I'm not normally like that. Oh, no problem. All right. Uh, All right. Thank, thank you. Yeah, sure. No problem. All right. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. All right, one more. Just one more. I want to do that. I don't know what I'm expecting. Like, I pretty much didn't get any good reactions. I did this on a hobo sode last week, I think it was. Man, that voice is getting on my nerves. And I got one bizarre reaction. It was completely unlike anything I expected, though. Some guy was acting like it was a weird conspiracy against him. But one last apology call. Let's just see how it goes. Before, I was calling from the corporate office and apologizing for no reason at all. Just, you know... Sorry. Calling Sunglass Hut. This is Jackie. How can I help you? Hey, Jackie. Uh, this is Santa Claus here in the mall. Yes. Um, ho, ho, ho. And, uh, like, my manager... I'm sorry. I was just trying to lighten the mood. My manager... You're fine. Uh, my manager wanted me to call you and apologize. For what? Uh, I don't want to say because it's embarrassing. But um, this is Jackie, right? Yes. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that, Jackie. I'm sorry for what I did and what I said and the things that I thought and my actions and all that. For what? Just, just like, you know, I don't really want to say. I, I just, you know, I wanted to apologize. Okay. So, like, do you forgive me and stuff? I don't even know what you did, so I can't forgive something I don't know what you did. Okay, well, just trust me. It was not nice. And I shouldn't be okay. acting like that. I'm Santa Claus. I should be setting an example. I'm like a higher being and stuff. I shouldn't be like that. I'm sorry. And she hung up. Okay, no more of that, ever. I will never apologize for anything again, as long as I live. Hello, this is Simply Southern. I'm Lexi. How can I help you? Hey, Lexi, uh, this is Santa here in the mall. Hello? Hello? Is this Lexi? Yep. Oh, hey, Lexi. This is Santa. I'm here in the mall, in the mall Santa. Uh-huh. And I saw what you did. And uh, what? It, I saw what you did, and you shouldn't be doing that. What did I do? Uh, you know what you did. I'm just saying, like, you know, I, I see all, I know all. I'm Santa. Just don't be doing that. Oh, okay. You know, I'm sorry. Not cool, especially this close to Christmas. Santa. Yeah, I'm Santa here from here in the mall. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Who's this? 
Who this? Oh, this is Santa here in the mall. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was just letting Lexi, Lexi know that I, I know what she did there. And that it wasn't cool and she shouldn't be doing that so close to Christmas. Do you know Lexi? Well, I, I know all the, the boys and girls in the world. I'm Santa. Mm-hmm. And uh, basically, I, 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 I see when you're sleeping. I know when you're awake. You know, you know the song. And I saw what she did, and it was not cool. Okay. So, uh, shame, shame on Lexi. Can you tell her that real quick? Mm-hmm. Right now, real quick, just tell her. Shame on you, Lexi. And point. Oh, she's busy. She's in duty now. Yeah, she's but just, you. like, waggle well, your finger at her. That. She's in duty now, and you don't want to get her in trouble. No, right? no, no, she is in trouble for what she did. She's in trouble with what Santa. Well, tell me what she did. Oh, uh, no, no, that's between me and Lexi. I know what she did. Okay. There's, there's no reason keep, for me to be keep, out in her. Keep, keep Santa. Keep your stuff out of the business. Oh, no, I'm in everyone's business. I'm in your business. I know everything you do. I'm Santa. I don't, I don't want you to be in my business, please. Well, I'm Santa. I can't help it. I'm in, I know everything. I'm all-knowing, all-seeing. Well, I don't have to hang up on you, please. No, don't no, bother you, us no more. You don't hang up on Santa Claus. Mm-hmm. That'll count again. Uh, you'll lose points. Well, thank you. You're, thank you for that. So... Yeah, no problem. Anyway, can you uh, just real quick tell Lexi, shame on you, Lexi. Well, thank you so much, guys. Well, can you Bye -bye. put can you put Lexi back on? No, no, she's on duty, so we'll take over her, her duty. In trouble. Don't get her in trouble, please. No, she's she's not in trouble. She's just in trouble with me. I'm just gonna put. Well, her I don't on. care about you, Mister. All right. I'm just gonna put I'm her on so the. I'm so cool so far, so please. I'm just gonna put her on the naughty list. That's all. <laughs> That was an idea from some random knob in the chat room from the other day when I did one of these shows live. I don't think I did that one on the live show. I never got around to it. So thanks for that one, some random knob. I think I've done the rest of the ideas, though. Thank you for calling Sprint at the mall. This is Michael. How can I help you? Hey, Michael. Uh, this is Santa Claus here in the mall. Yeah, what's going on? Um, well, I needed to know, um, can you bring down um, an iPhone charger for me? My phone ran out of battery. I just need an iPhone charger. I'm just going to borrow it for a few hours. Uh, who's this? Uh, this is Santa. I'm, I'm over at the, the Santa, the, you know, the photo area, Santa photos. Yeah, here in the middle. I don't have any that I can, that I can give away. We use it for our tablets. Yeah, just so take... If you want to bring a phone up, I can leave it up here to Oh, charge. no, I can't, I can't leave my throne. Uh, I just need to uh, make sure it's uh, uh, two amps. Two amp charger, and you know, just take it off the shelf. No, I can't do that. You had to come up into the store. Oh no, no, I need you to bring it down and deliver it. The mall said you'd be willing to help. No, nah, no, we can't do that. Uh, you're gonna say no to Santa Claus. I'm gonna. Well, that's bullshit. Because you know what? Oh. Good afternoon, Department This is Kevin speaking. How may I help you? Hey, Kevin. Uh, this is the Santa Claus here in the mall. Okay. Uh, I just needed to let you know that your shift starts in uh, th uh, 27 minutes. You need to be over here at the Santa throne and take over for an hour. Uh, I think you got the wrong number here. Oh, is this, a sh is this the shoe department, Encore? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, uh, like everyone in the mall is taking turns being Santa today. So your shift starts in 26 minutes. Okay. So you need to come over here. Uh, we'll give you the suit, and uh, you're just going to sit here for an hour and talk to kids. <laughs> well, I can't do that because I can't leave the store, so. No, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, we'll send someone up there to watch the store for you. <laughs> I'm completely serious. This is, a, this is not a laughing matter. Like, uh, I'm not working a double. Well, I... I don't know what you're going to do, because no. I can't leave the store. Well, yeah, every, everybody else is doing it. You know, I work at Spencer's. This is, this is Mike over at Spencer's. But, uh, you know, like, I, I'm just being Santa for an hour. I did an hour last weekend, too, and you didn't even do it last weekend. So, you owe us. You basically well, owe us two hours. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. It's the rules. Yeah, I don't think so. No, it's definitely the rules. It's how it works. We're rotating today. Yeah. We do this every year. No, we don't. Yes, we do. <laughs> You're being an asshole. All right, man. Bye. You're being an asshole. He's not being a team player. 
Hey, phone's the number handle. This is Randy. Hey, uh, this is Santa here in the mall. You know the mall Santa? Yes, sir. Hey, you have display beds in your store, right? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to come over there. Like, my break starts in 24 minutes. And I get a three-hour okay. break. Someone else is going to take over for me. I'm going to... I'm gonna go. I'm gonna sleep in one of your display beds, just to, in, in my Santa uniform. It'll be cute. People will like it. That'd be awesome. Okay. Yeah. Just so you know, I'm coming over there, and I'm gonna like. I'm actually gonna sleep. Okay. So you're gonna have to tell the customers to leave me. You know, leave me alone. I'm sleeping. I gotcha. All right. Yeah. I just uh, wanted to let you know. So uh, yeah, just make sure it's okay. Cause That's I, fine. I got three hours here, and you know, I just. Really need a nap. I stayed up all night, really hung over. I'm serious. That's awesome. Yeah, it was. Yeah, come on over. Okay, all right. You got blankets right. and pillows and stuff, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Cool. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, bye. I don't want to talk to you, though. I'm just coming there and sleeping. Just have it ready. All right, I got gotcha. you. All right, bye. Ho, bye. ho, ho. How dumb was that? That's got to be the dumbest call yet from today. I'm turning off this Santa voice for a while. It's driving me crazy. Steve calling. Savvy, this is Faith. How can I help you? Hi, Faith. Uh, this is Santa Claus here in the mall. You know, I'm the mall Santa. Yeah. Do you sell boots there, like black boots? We don't. Uh, just black shoes of any kind? We do have some black shoes. Okay, yeah. I just need you to bring over a pair of black shoes. Like, they gave me, like, Santa boots here. But mm -hmm. they're too small for my feet, so um, I wear a size 12. Just need a size 12 of black shoe of any kind. Just bring okay. it over, and I'm going to use it for the rest of the day. Okay. You I'm said not, a size 12? Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to pay for it. I'm just going to use it, and I'll bring it right back. Okay, sounds I won't, good. I won't even have to walk around, except when I go outside for my cigarette break. Okay. So I, I won't wear them down or anything. Sounds good. I'll bring them down. All right. Size 12. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're the best. Bye. <laughs> Is she really going to do that? There's no way. And holy shit. Look at this. The mall Santa has a listing in the directory and there's a phone number. Is he going to answer? Well, I doubt Santa's going to answer. But this is different. Usually they don't have a phone number. Thank you for calling Small. Mall hours are Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. And Sunday, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Small. One moment, please. So I hit zero. We'll see if that gets me there. Because this is a different number than the mall's number. They have different numbers. So this has got to be Santa, right? It's got to be. This mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages. Crap. Please try again later. All right. I will try again later. Because that would be great to actually talk to the Santa people. Thank you for calling, k This is Cassandra. How may I help you? Hey, Cassandra. Uh, this is Stacy from the mall office. Yeah. And I'm calling to let you know that um, there's going to be a celebrity stopping in your store in about 20 minutes. Okay. And they're they're going to do kind of like a little bit. Do you know who Carrot Top is? No idea. Um, yeah, he's like a movie star, a comedian guy. Um, like Santa. You know our mall Santa here in the right. mall? Uh, he's going to come in there and shop for jewelry. Okay. And then Carrot Top's going to happen by and they're going to get into a fight. They're basically going to have like a big wrestling match in the middle of your store and there's going to be cameras and stuff. Okay, I'm going to give you to my manager so you can tell her this. Okay. What happened? Hello? Oh, hey there. This, this is Stacy from the mall office. Uh-huh. And I'm calling to let you know there's going to be a celebrity stopping in. Do you know who Carrot Top is? <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't know who Carrot Top is? No. Oh. Should I? Well, yeah. I mean, he's been around forever. He's a movie star, oh. comedian guy. He's, um, anyway, he's going to be coming in there. Uh, Santa Claus is going to be coming in, too. You know, the mall Santa? Uh-huh. And he's going to be in there shopping for jewelry. And then Carrot Top's going to come in, and he's going to challenge Santa for his throne. And we're going to do it here in this store? Yeah, they're going to get into a fight. It's going to be like a wrestling match in the middle of your store. There's going to be cameras. And probably a crowd of people and stuff cheering. And yeah. um, what's your name? This is Stacy from the mall office. Stacy? Yeah. 
and it's gonna okay. be in, it's gonna be in about um, it looks like about 15 minutes now. He's scheduled to like Santa's gonna come up there in just a little bit and start okay. shopping, and then Carrot Top's gonna happen by. They're gonna get into a fight. They may break things, but don't worry, we'll pay for it. Okay, we'll watch for them. Okay, they may grab like you know handfuls of blood diamonds and throw them at each other. <laughs> we don't carry those. Oh yeah, sure you don't. No, it's cool. I know. You know, I work here. I get it. Okay. Well, we'll watch for it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, 15 minutes. Be prepared. <laughs> Damn it. Usually the jewelry stores get really uptight about stuff like that. I wonder if I could do the same thing at Hellsburg Diamonds. Thank you for calling Hellsburg Diamonds. This is Brandon speaking. Hey, Brandon. This is Stacy from the mall office. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. Hey, I needed to let you know that a celebrity is going to be coming in there in about uh, 15 or 20 minutes. Um, okay. Do, do you know who Carrot Top is? Yeah, yeah, in, into your store. Do you know who Carrot Top is? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, are, you know the mall Santa here in the mall? Yep. He, he's going to come in there first, and he's going to be shopping for diamonds, and then Carrot Top's going to come in. They're going to do, like, this thing in your store where they're going to, like, Carrot Top's going to challenge him to his throne. Okay. And they're going to get into a, um, a major brawl inside your store. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work out. No, it's cool. Like, we've already cleared it with the, the people with Carrot Top and the mall Santa. He's all for it. Everyone's, everyone's you know, ready to make this happen. So it's going to be like in about 15 minutes, they're going to uh, wrestle around in your store a bunch, jump over counters and, you know, like yell at each other. Yeah, no, that's the that's the part that I don't think is going to work out. I mean, this is a jewelry store with with a lot of, I mean, valuable merchandise. Oh yeah, I, Car- mean, I don't. Carrot Top said he'd pay for anything that gets damaged, like real damage, you know, not pretend fake damage. So don't try and pull a fast one. But like, they're going to knock over displays and stuff, and and like throw stuff at each other. Yeah, no, that's not going to work out one at all. No, it's it's fine. I'm from the mall office. We we've already set this up. Carrot Top's fine with it. Santa's fine with it. Okay, it, but did he get approved with Hellsburg? Well, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just letting you know it's going to happen. It's it's you know it's our mall. We can do whatever we want. But it like it's not a big deal. It's going to be good promotion for your store. You're going to be your, your store will probably be on TV because there's going to be cameras and there's going to be lots of screaming. Lots of people in the mall are going to gather around because it's going to be so loud. Yeah, that's an issue. No, it's it's a good issue. Like it means you're going to get a lot of uh, extra business from all the chaos. All right, let me uh, hop on the phone with my regional real quick. What's uh, what's the number to call you on? Uh, it's a four two zero zero one one zero. Four two zero zero one one. Yeah, zero one one zero. But you know, by the time you okay. talk to regional, like Santa's going to be up there shopping already, and it's going it, to the plan's set in motion. It's happening. All right, she can get on the phone very quickly. So you so, might, uh, might want to, Stacy. I'm going to have her call you real quick. Okay, sure. Yeah, and you might want to, um, you know, like just just maybe set super valuable things aside because they're going to be throwing things at each other. Yeah, that's something that if we had like a day to plan, we could have. No, nah, done that. No, nah, you're just being you're just being difficult for no reason. No, um, they, you're not understanding for no reason. No, you're gonna you're gonna be on TV. Okay, you want to be on TV, right? No. Like, why would I want that? Because it's good promotion, it's good for the business, and it's good for them all. Okay, well, they're, I'm going to hang up so that way I have that extra 14 minutes to go and let my regional manager talk pro- to you. They're probably, it's 13 minutes at this point. They're probably going to be, uh, they'll probably bring okay, you in on the minutes. act. Okay, they're, we'll give you a, we'll give you a quick they'll call They'll back. probably bring you in on the act. You're going to be on TV personally, like fighting a celebrity. <laughs> See, that's the response I expected. Not those other ladies that don't even know who Carrot Top is. The national treasure. Everybody knows who Carrot Top is. I'm trying to figure out where Santa is in this mall, and it says they're at the Macy's Court, so I just assume that's kind of in the doors in front of Macy's, but there's no little square where it shows me this time, so I'm just going to assume that's where it is, and I'm going to call some of these stores that are right across from that area. Thank you for calling CJ Banks. This is Tammy. How may I help you? Hey, Tammy. Uh, This is Santa here in the mall. Uh Uh-huh. Like, you know, like right outside your store, right? Yes. Yeah, that's the one. Um, hey, do you think you can uh, shut up? Because like, I can hear you all the way out here, and I can barely even hear the kids. J. 
year. I'm serious. You got, a, you got a loud fucking voice, lady. That public service announcement, boys and girls, was brought to you by CJ Banks. Don't smoke cigarettes. You'll sound like that. That was a lady, everyone. You don't want that, do you? Stick to vaping. Vaping's totally cool. All right, let's see what else is over there. At least she confirmed for me that Santa is in front of her store. So I think I have the right place. Thank you for calling Amy Summer. This is Sydney speaking. How may I help you? Oh, hey, Sydney. Uh, this is uh, Santa here in the mall. Sorry, what was that? Uh, this is Santa Claus. I'm the Santa Claus here in the mall. You know, the photo booth. Oh, yes. Sitting over here on my throne. Hey, do you think you can just uh, maybe kind of shut up a little bit? Because I can hear you all the way over here. <laughs> you can hear us all the way over there. <laughs> I'm serious. You guys are, are fucking loud in there. Oh, okay. And I, I could, like, you know, I'm trying to talk to kids here, and you're breaking my concentration with your loud yammering. Sorry. No, that's cool. You know, I'm just, I'm just hoping you can shut the fuck up if you don't mind. Okay. I'd appreciate it. Just hangs up on me. Hangs up on Santa Claus. This isn't going how I expected either. When I did those other stores a few weeks ago, they got pissed at each other. I guess people aren't going to get pissed at Santa. Because cause he's fucking Santa, you know? Oh, man. Uh, there's a Zales Jewelers across from him, but I think I already called them. Didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. I'm going to skip them. Oh, and there's K Jewelers right next to it. God damn it. Thanks for calling back, of course. The same for which am I holding, please? Uh, no, I can't hold. This is Santa Claus out here in the mall, you know, just outside. Uh-huh. Uh, I was just hoping you guys could uh, keep it down in there. Maybe shut the fuck up. You're being really loud. <laughs> hold on a you second. Know? No, I'm, I'm not going to hold. Ah, oh, she hung up. I don't know how to hit the hold button. All right, so I called every store over there by Santa's throne thing, and they all just laughed at me, so damn it. I mean, I guess I could try some of these that are a little bit further away. Thanks for calling American Eagles. This is Michael. Hey, Michael. Uh, this is Santa Claus here in the mall. Hello. Hello. Uh, I'm just going to need you to bring me over a shirt. I uh, wear like an extra, extra large, and uh, I don't know, some pants, I guess. Waist, waist size 34. Okay. Yep, yep. I'm, I'm like just about off work, but I can't just like walk out of the mall in my Santa suit, so I just need some clothes. Okay. Do you happen to know what the items were? No, no. I'm, I'm, I don't. I haven't been in there. I've never been in your store before. I just need you to bring me some clothes for free. You know where Santa's throne is? Where I'm doing the, pic mm -hmm. the photos? Yeah. Just bring a shirt and some pants over, over there. Okay, let me talk to my manager about that before I do anything, uh, and then we will notify somebody. Okay, are you going to do that while I hold, or what? Um, or, or well, I mean, I am pretty kind of busy at the moment. Yeah, so but I'm Santa, if you so wanna, I'm Santa, so, you, you know, I... Right, so I if you want to, like, priority. maybe call me back in the next ten minutes Oh, uh, so, like, where's the manager at? Like, is the manager there? Right, like I said, I'm yeah, busy. Just, yeah, well, just so, yell, just yell, real loud. want to call me back in just 10 yell, minutes. Just yell, yell for your great. manager. Look, I'm Santa, and I'm getting off work in five minutes, and I want those clothes. Right, but in that case, I would need you to pay for them. No, 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 I'm not paying for them. I'm Santa. You don't, like, make Santa pay for Like, do you pay for your Christmas presents? I do. No, you don't, because I'm Santa. I give them to you for free. Stupid. Okay. Anyway, um, like I said, I'm busy. Yeah, well, Just like I case, said, I, I need a, X, a 2XL back. shirt and some pants. Stat. Hurry the fuck okay. up. Damn it. All-Star Cuts. Yeah, hey, uh, this is Santa Claus here in the mall. You know, the Santa at the photo area downstairs. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be coming in there in a little bit. Um, and I'm going to get my beard cut off. Huh? I'm going to get my beard cut off. Like, you know, they're, they're going to film it and stuff. Have you got any kids in there right now? Uh, no, we ain't got, we ain't got the main kids in here right now. Okay. I'm going to bring some kids with me. Okay. I'm going to oh, do this. Come to Anthony. My name is Anthony. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be doing like a performance art type piece. Uh, I'm going to have you just shave off my beard, like cut it off and then shave my face. But it's like a fake Santa beard. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, 
scream. And, oh, okay. I'm gonna, now now I'm gonna, it makes sense. Yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna scream in pain. You know, as, you know, as, your beard, I'm like, oh, shucks. Yeah, no, no, oh, it's just yeah. a fake beard, but I'm gonna act like it's a real one for all the kids that are com- coming with me. And I'm gonna, sc- okay. I'm gonna scream in pain. Okay, my name's Anthony. Just come back to me. I'll be right here and, waiting on you. And I've got one of those blood packets. I'm gonna make it look like you cut me really bad and I'm bleeding. Oh wow! Come on, man. You, you, you're killing me. You're killing me. Oh, it's, it's cool. Like you know, they, they gotta learn someday how it works. Okay. All right, I'm here waiting on you, though. All right. Uh, what time are you coming? Uh, what time are you coming? I think in about 15 minutes. Um, I'm okay, that's, that's cool. Some kids here and. Hey, can you tell her to All shut right, the? I'm f- here waiting. Tell that lady in the I'm background to shut up. Tell her to shut up. Who's, <laughs> who's laughing like that? Huh? What, what's she laughing about? Oh, that's my daughter playing. Oh, tell her to shut up. Man, you acting too crazy. All right, man, I'm here waiting on you. You coming, man? Okay, right. I'm not gonna pay. All right. Because I'm Santa, so you're not gonna charge me. I know. I'm not. Come on. All right. All right. I'll be there in a minute. All right. All right. All right. Bye, Anthony. Thank you for calling Justice. How can I help you? Hey, uh, this is Roy. I'm um, in the piercing pagoda. You know, the little yeah. kiosk down the hall a little bit? Yeah. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wheel my uh, kiosk down there, uh, and I'm going to set it up inside your store. I'm sorry. No, it's cool. Roy? Yeah. Yeah, the kiosk? Yeah, the piercing pagoda. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I had to think about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm just a few few doors down. Okay. But uh, I'm, I'm going to move the entire kiosk. I'm going to, like, wheel it down and going to put it in your store okay. just right in the front. So you know how you have the rack of clothes there in front? The, the Are you talking Justice, the store? Yeah, Justice. You, you have kind of like some clothes there right in front on a shelf rack type thing. You know? I'm you're, sorry. I don't remember. But no, I'm just saying, that, like that thing that's in front of the store, you're going to have to move it so I can get my okay. uh, kiosk inside your store. Oh, sorry. And, we can't do that. Oh, no, no. It, it's cool. It's fine. I, okay. I don't, I'll, I'll move it myself. And then I just need a place to plug my, uh, you know, plug in the power. I'm just going to work out of your store for the rest of the evening. Okay, did you call the company on that? What company? The head company of Justice? No, no, that's dumb. Like, I'm, we're, I'm just a local person. I'm right here in the mall. I'm like four doors down. Okay, where are you at? Uh, Sorry, I'm going to fight. The Piercing Pagoda? I'm over in front of, like, Journeys and American Eagle. You know, there, there's you, and then there's Pink, Journeys. Yeah. And I'm right I by see. the jewelers. Yeah, I'm just going to okay. wheel it down there, and I'm going to set it up inside your store. Okay, give me just a second. For what? Let me come out and talk to you. What? I said, let me come and talk to you real quick. Uh, Are you n- out there? N- no, you don't have to come over here. I, I'll, I'll just bring it on over. I, I don't want to bother you or anything. I'm just going to bring it over. Okay, can you hold on? Like, can, let me take your number. Oh, you I don't, call you right back. Oh, no, it's on your caller ID. Like, no, you don't have to call me back. You don't have to come over. I'm just going to wheel it on down, and you'll see me when I show up. I just don't want you to be surprised when I start wheeling all my stuff in. Okay, well, let me take your name and number. It'll be better for business. It'll be better for business if I'm in there, because then I'll get more, you know, I can pierce. pierce uh, no, we already pe- do piercing. I know, but I'll, I'll, like, you can, competition's good. Uh, it, no, thank you. Well, no, I'm I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do move. it. I'm, I didn't know Justice did piercings. I mean, I've never been inside of a Justice before, I guess. But maybe that's why Claire's is going out of business. Justice is doing all the piercings now. Let's see. We've got a Lids. Lids and Midex. Hey, uh, this is uh, Santa here in the mall. You know, downstairs. Yeah. Wait, what? Th- this is the Santa Claus here in the mall. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, um, I know what you did. I wa- I'm I I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. So you know. What did I do? Oh, you know what you did. Just don't be doing stuff like that. It's nearly Christmas. What? It's nearly <laughs> I Christmas. I don't know what you mean. Oh, you know what I mean. I'm at work, so I mean. I know you're at work. I'm here. I didn't the, even, I'm here. It, I'm here in the mall. 
I know. If I did anything wrong, I'd be fired, so. Well, no, not if you're sneaky about it like you were. What? What did I do? Just, just, you know, just come on. It's, it's almost Christmas. Stop being like that. Um, I'm not a hundred percent what you mean, but sure. Yeah. I'll, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's real convincing. Whatever. But no, seriously, you just need to, you know, cut it out. Be, be a good boy. <laughs> it's almost Christmas. Right, man. Just come on. Sure. Yeah. No, I'm serious. Right, like, yeah. you need to. Okay. All right. Yep. You, uh, you have a good day, Santa. I'm going to put you on the naughty list. Okay, put me on the naughty list. Oh, That's I fine. will. Don't think I won't. All right. All right. You have a good one. All right, you too. Bye. Enjoy your day, man. Oh, no, you, you enjoy your day. Oh, here's the stores that are, um, you know, they're in the Macy's courtyard, but they're above, you know, they're in the upper level. But it looks like, you know, of course, the, the there's a big opening so you can see down into the lower levels. So I could tell them to shut up because they're right above where Santa is. Bath and Body Works, how can I help you today? Hey, hey there, this is uh, Santa here in the mall. Uh-huh. You know, downstairs from you? Yeah. I was wondering if you guys can maybe uh, stop being so fucking loud up there. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Just, you know, if you could just quieten down a little bit. I can hear you all the way down here. How is that possible? I don't, the, how is this Santa? Because I don't even hear the mall music behind you. Yeah, well, you know, like the sound travels um, downwards. And, and you're being really loud and... Okay, well, that's not very Santa-like of you. And there's nobody being loud in my store. Oh, no, it's, uh, it's you. I recognize your voice. And I'm, I'm, up, I'm down here trying to, uh, you know, talk to the kids and everything. And you're breaking my concentration. I just hear you yammering on all day. Okay, well, I'm in the back room working, so there's no way you can hear my voice. Oh, okay, well, it's someone that so sounds I just like you then. I apologize, but it's not just my store. And like I said, that's not very Santa-like if this is truly you downstairs. Well, can you go up, up front and tell your employees to shut the fuck up, please? Um, no, and if you call me back again speaking to me like that, I will report you to my security and uh, my police. No, no, you're not allowed to. I'm Santa. No, you're not, and this is childish, and I don't have time for these games. Like reindeer games? Oh, really? How old are you? Well, I'm Santa Claus. I'm ageless. I'm timeless. <laughs> that lady doesn't understand physics. She doesn't know that sound waves are really heavy. They just fall right down here where I'm just trying to work. Oh, look, the Sprint stores up here, too. The, the one I asked them to bring me a phone. I could have just told them to, like, toss it over the rail. Thank you for calling Payless Shoe Stores. This is Kate. How can I help you? Hey, Kate. This is uh, Santa here in the mall, you know, downstairs. Yes. Um, I was wondering if you and your employees could maybe uh, just kind of keep it down up there. I can hear you all the way down here. You know? Oh. You're being so loud. Can you, can you guys maybe just kind of shut the fuck up, please? Who is this? This is Santa downstairs. You know, I'm right below you, but I'm downstairs. Okay, well, we don't have any music of that on. No, no, not the music, just your voices. You're talking too loud, and you're laughing and carrying on. And I'm down here trying to talk to the kids. And you, you, you guys just need to shut the fuck up, please. Okay. I, I'd appreciate it, because, oh my gosh, you guys are being so loud. Y use your inside okay, voice. Well, all that's left is the Sprint place, and I already asked them to get me the charger, so I don't know if they're going to believe me. Thank you for choosing Sprint. Mall, this is Keith. How am I help you? Hey, Keith. Uh, this is Santa Claus here in the mall downstairs, you know? Hey, what's up? Uh, hey, do you think you can maybe just uh, quieten down up there? You're being kind of loud. Uh, we're actually we're fairly quiet right now. No, no, not really. Like, you, we can hear you, you all just, like, talking to the customers and laughing, and I'm down here trying to talk to the kids, and you, you're just being so loud. Okay, yeah, um, just, uh, sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. Like, just, you know, just maybe just kind of shut the fuck up. Oh, oh okay. Thanks, Santa. <laughs> He's very obedient. So here's a buckle that is on the other side of the Sprint store, but around the corner. But on the map, you can see that their walls are touching each other. Buckle. Oh, hey, uh, this is Keith over at, at the Sprint store. 
Okay. Like around the corner, you know? Uh-huh. Hey, um, you know how, like, our walls connect? Yeah. Um, can you, can you guys, like, they're, they're really thin walls. Can you just maybe kind of keep it down over there? Sure. Just, just shut the fuck up. Because, you know, I'm, I'm in here trying to help customers, and you guys are just being really loud. Oh, okay. Like banging things around and pounding on the walls. Okay. Oh, my God. Just cut it out. Okay. Just shut the fuck up. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. Is there anyone else there that I could also tell to shut the fuck up? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, sir. What, you're the only one there? I can hear other people. Oh, that's right. He's telling us to shut the oh, that's up right. because we're banging on the walls and we share a wall and he wants to know if there's somebody else he can talk to. Tell to shut the fuck up. I'm going to get this from you, Ninja. Oh, that'd be great. Thank you so much. She's right there. Bye. She's like, I've got my He's calling to share walls and telling us to shut the fuck up. I swear. I'm not <laughs> Hi, this is the store manager at the buckle. Oh, you don't have a name. Okay, this is Keith over at Sprint. Yes. And uh, she already explained it to you. I don't know why she had to give you the phone. I was just hoping you all over there could shut the fuck up. Because you're being so loud, you know. We're, we're trying to do business over here, and you guys are just being loud. and. You're talking. an employee at Sprint? Yeah, yeah, I work over here, and you guys, like, we can hear you through the walls. You know, the walls are really thin. You, you share a wall with uh, us and Payless. And, oh, man, you guys just need to shut up. Your name is Keith? Yeah, yeah. And I, I admit, I'm a little drunk right now, but that doesn't matter. You know, you just need to shut up. I mean, so loud. And you work over there at Sprint? Yeah, yeah, I work here at the Sprint store. Three years now. And man, like after all this time, I do you just, have a manager available? I've just about oh, I'm the manager on duty. I've just about had it with you people though. You guys are just so loud over there, like banging on the walls and just banging stuff around. It's it's almost like you're trying to irritate us. You can call our corporate office if you have any questions. Oh, if not, no, I no. am the store manager over here. If you'd like to come over, we don't have to be like that about it. You know, just just shut the fuck up. No, out. no, I'm. I don't know what you want me to do. I, um, I want you to shut the fuck I, up. We pay rent with the mall, so you would probably have to discuss that with the mall manager. Yeah, but doesn't, that doesn't mean you get to be a shitty neighbor. Just shut the fuck up. You know, like Santa was up here earlier talking to me, and he said he could hear you all the way downstairs. And, you, and, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to call them. I'm going to call them and tell them to shut the fuck up. So, you know, I've got Santa on my side. So you guys just need to really shut the fuck up. please. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Here's a place called Brow Art, and they do eyebrow threading. What the fuck is eyebrow threading? I'm going to Google this. Oh my God, what are they doing? What the hell is this? Is it just shaving eyebrows with thread? I'm confused. At first, I thought they were, you know, doing a needle and thread through their eyebrows. I'm like, ooh, gross. They give your eyebrows a clean and defined shape. It's like an alternative to waxing. I didn't know people wax their eyebrows. Wow, I don't know anything. Bar Art 23, this is Jorinda. How can I help you? Hey, Jorinda. This is Santa Claus here in the mall. Uh-huh. And I'm going to be coming up there in a little bit on my break, and uh, I'm going to get my eyebrows threaded. Oh, okay. Is that, like, are you going to have time to, to do that? Like, does it take less than 30 minutes? Oh, yeah, it only takes about less than five. So. Okay, all right, because the kids, they keep pulling on my eyebrows. They don't think they're real. Oh, <laughs> so, okay, what time are you coming? Uh, like in about, I don't know, five minutes. Okay, but, I'll be here. Okay, and I'm not going to pay for it because I'm Santa. <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I'm the mall Santa, right, so I don't have to pay? <laughs> yeah, you're good. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> you're welcome. Um, do you do, like, like, do, I don't know, can you do beard threading? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've done it before. Okay, cool. Yeah, maybe I could, like, does that take a long time? Mm, depends if you're just getting it, like, lined up or, you know, yeah. just a clean up. Then yeah. 
my beard's a mess. Uh, like, so the, the thread cuts the, the beard hairs, the, the eyebrow hairs? Uh, it pulls it from uh, your skin. Oh, so it's like plucking your eyebrows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's less painful or more painful? Um, it's about the same as waxing or plucking. Oh, okay, because I'm a screamer. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be the first. All right, you're gonna be. You won't be saying that after I leave. <laughs> All right, I'll be right up. Uh, my break starts in a little bit. I, I gotta get this like little brat off my fucking lap that's right here. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks. See you soon. All right. See ya. Bye. That wasn't even a prank call. I just want to know what threading was. And now we know. Rogers and Holland, how may I help you? Hey there. This is Santa Claus here in the mall. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, hey, I just need you to bring me some, uh, you know, gold stuff to wear while I'm Santa. Just bring me a few, uh, you know, bling. It doesn't have to be expensive. It just has to be flashy. I'm just gonna borrow okay. it. Borrow it till the end give of my shift. Give me one moment. Why? Where are you going? Just give me one moment. Where are you going? What are you doing? I'm gonna go check on it for you. Check on what? Emily, how may I help you? Hey, Emily. Uh, this is Santa here in the mall. How are you? Pretty good. Um, I'm, I just need you to bring me some uh, necklaces, like some gold chains or whatever, like whatever you have that's big and flashy. Well, you can come up to the store and pick it up if you'd like. Uh, no, I'm Santa. I can't leave my throne right now. I just need you to come down here and just, you know, just present them to me, like put them around my neck for me in front of the kids. They'll think it's cool. Unfortunately, we're unable to do that. If you'd like to come up to the store, feel free. Other than that, have a fantastic Why not? day, I'm not even. I'm not even going to buy them. I'm just going to borrow them. Okay, come on up to the store. We'll help you out. Well, like, are, are you going to let me borrow them? Come on up to the store and we can talk it out. Because I don't want to pay. I, like, Santa shouldn't have to pay. You know? You know? Why can't she come down there? I can't believe the eyebrow place is just like, okay, we'll do it for free, no problem. You're Santa, <laughs> why wouldn't we? I am running out of stores at this place. Here's a Master Cuts, though. Master Cuts, can I help you? Hey there, this is Santa Claus here in the mall. Hello. Hello, are you very busy today? Um, yeah, we are, kind of. Ah, uh, crud, okay, well, I'm going to be coming up there in about uh, 10 minutes. And uh, I'm going to need to step step in front of the line because I'm Santa. (laughs) Seriously. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah, and there's going to be a bunch of kids with me. I'm going to get my beard trimmed up. Okay. Or basically cut off. You're cutting the beard off? Yeah, in front of the kids. Okay. And it's going to be a big old production. Uh, my, my, My friend, Terry, he's got a camera. He's going to film it. Okay. And I'm going to scream like I'm in pain while you're doing it. Oh, my gosh. What's your first name? Santa. Just one second. What's your first name? Oh, oh. Uh, John. And then your last name? Uh, Peterson. P-E-T-E-R-S-E-N. Man, I hope this guy is a joke. He says he's Santa. I'm getting his haircut and bring lots of kids up here. And, um... Uh, Scream while I'm cutting his beard and second film. He's going to scream? Scream while I cut his beard. I hope it's a joke. What? Yeah, it's gotta be a joke. It's funny, though. Because I don't want to film. Well, not to mention, that'd be a kind of an awkward situation. <laughs> Especially with little kids are going to be like, traumatized, too, when I don't you do think it. I, I think it's a joke, but I really I know I can hear them, right? Oh, if it is, take five and have a... Is it a man? Yeah, I have a man each. 1950. So, that's all I said. I think it's a joke, honestly, I hope. I don't want to be filmed. I'm not in the mood for uh, that. Definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. Hey. 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 Hello? Alright, well, 
Well, um, I Do you got, need a receipt? No, I never keep them. I got many. What's your name? Laura. Laura? Yep. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. You take care. Thank you. You too. Hello? Hey, Laura. Hello. What's up so with Mr. you to get your hair cut? Yeah, well, just my beard. I'm going to have my beard cut off in front of the kids. What's up with that Mr. Peterson guy saying I'm a joke? You think Santa's a joke? No. I can't believe you guys were talking about me like that. Like when I'm standing right here. <laughs> really? Okay, so if you're going to come get your hair cut, come get your hair cut. Okay, well, no, it's not a haircut. I just want to get my beard completely cut off in front of some kids. All righty. I'll and see you in a minute. I'm going to be screaming. And also, I got like a blood pack, like fake blood. I'm going to make it look like you cut me and I'm bleeding. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. See you then. Oh, is that okay? Is that? Well, that was kind of boring. Other than the conversation I got to hear them have about me. Hopefully, you guys could hear that. She's talking about how she doesn't want to be filmed. It's not in the mood for it. Charlie. Hey there. This is Santa Claus from here in the mall. I'm sorry? This is Santa Claus from here in the mall. You know the mall okay. Santa? Yeah. I was up there earlier. I got the uh, the Philly cheese steak thing. Okay. And, you know, like less than an hour after I got it, I shit my pants. Like, I'm down here, downstairs, in the mall, on, on the throne. Okay, let me translate it. Oh, hold on, I'm going to uh, give you the manager, okay? Hold okay. on. Okay. Hello? Hello, I was just told the other guy how, uh, you know, I, I got a cheese, uh, Philly cheese steak thing up there. This is Santa here in the mall, by the way. Yes. You know, the Santa Claus downstairs. And I got the Philly cheesesteak, and I shit my pants. <clears throat> that happened when? Today? Yeah, like, I, I'm sitting here right now, like, with the children and stuff, getting, you know, talking to kids and taking photos, and I have shit in my pants. Hmm. I need you to run over to Justice and get me some pants. Size 32. So, but, you know, uh, that's, that's things I know from the health department. If somebody gets sick for our food, it's not happening, like, uh, right away. It's at least, like, two hours after eating. No, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Look, I'm not trying to make a big thing out of this, but I need you to go over to Justice, you know, the store Justice. Mm-hmm. Go over there and get me a pair of pants. I wear a size 32. But uh, that's things like something I had to call the owner because I can not have No, a, no, just go... Thing. Like, they'll give it to you for free. Just tell them it's for Santa. Just go over to ju Santa Justice. Yeah, go over to Justice. So you need a pair of pants for Santa, size 32. Okay. And Yeah, just go over there, and they'll give it to you for free, and bring them down to me. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to change my pants in front of the kids. Okay. And, and then I want you to take the, uh, the, the pants with the shit in them. Shit in them. Oh, he hung up. Here's a place called Inside Scoop. Looks like that's a candy and plush animal store right next to the Spencer Gifts. Thank you for calling Inside Scoop. This is Abby. How may I help you? Hey, Abby. This is Chad over at Spencer's. Hey, Chad. What's up? Um, we're going to be knocking a hole through the wall. Okay. Like over to your side. And it's, okay. it's going to be about um, like a foot and a half tall by about two feet wide. Just okay, well, where's it going to be? Like right in the middle, kind of. Where like, our gummy wall is? Yeah, yeah. Can you just make sure everything's moved away from there? Because we're going to be like sawing through the drywall. We're going to put Yeah, a, do, you, like, do you want like all like the bins moved and everything? Yeah, yeah. Could you we just... have like plush with glass shelves as well. Yeah, we'll try not to, we'll try not to saw into those. We're just using All right, uh, give me one second. I got to run some to our back office, and then I can try to move everything, and I'll try to get my coworker to help me. Okay. All right, thank you. Oh, wait, where are you leaving? No, 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 no. I'm just running to our back office oh. really fast because I picked up uh, Jimmy John's and it started to get busy in the store. Oh, I see, yeah. So I'm just like, I don't have time to eat my food. Yeah, we're just going to make like an open window, like an open, you know, just kind of open up the whole place a little bit so people in your store, they'll be able to look in and see our store. Okay, do, and, um, if you have time, do you want to like come in and like show me where you're going to hit so that way I know? Uh, no, I'm not allowed to leave. 
No, I so, believe. Okay. So I'm, I'm just going to. Okay, I'm well, just going to start. I've already chopped through the drywall on this side. And I chopped, right, uh, I chopped I'm out gonna one. I'm going to come over there and I'll chop. look to see where it is. So I, that way I know too. Okay, yeah. This, this is going to be a big window, like two foot window. Okay, give me one second. It's gonna, I'm going to put a counter down so we can, so I can just right hang out I'll at the back. counter. Okay. And say hello to you guys whenever I want to. Woo! Hold it's on. Good. I'm coming over there right now. Okay. Oh, she hung up. I thought she was going to walk over with the phone. Okay, I think her name was Abby, so let me call over to Spencer's. Oh, man, they have a toll-free number. This is probably not the mall Spencer's, is it? Thanks for contacting Spencer's Online. Dang it. Our calls are Dang monitored it. and recorded for quality and training. Why? For super fast help. Here, I'm going to try and look them up online, I guess. Um, why would they put their toll-free number? Ah, it's toll-free on Google, too. That sucks. How are you supposed to call the store? Thanks for contacting Spencer's Online. Yeah, I tried the number back. Uh, the options don't work. There's there's no way to reach the local store. Like, why not? That's weird. They just don't want to get phone calls, I guess. Probably because of people like me. I wanted to tell them that Abby had mental problems and just to go along with whatever she said. Crazy. This is Becky. How can I help you? Hey there, Becky. This is Chad from the uh, Justice Store upstairs from you. Yeah, hi. Hey, uh, we put like a hole in the floor, like a three-foot hole, three-foot by three-foot, and we're going to make it look down into your store. Okay. You, you know, like how out in the middle of the mall you can look over the rail and look downstairs and see the stuff downstairs? Okay. We're going to do that in our store, so we're going to start cutting through your ceiling here in a minute. Uh, can I give you to my store manager? I guess. Are, are they there? Yeah, she's right here, okay. but it's, uh, I'm with a customer, so I can't really sit here and listen. Okay, well, just Sorry. If, if, if customers start seeing, like, little sawdust stuff come down on their head, like drywall dust. Um, yeah, that, that's here, just... let me give you to her really fast, okay? Uh, all right. Hey, Courtney. This is Courtney. Hey, Courtney, it's Chad from upstairs at the Justice I'm sorry? It's Chad. I work at the Justice upstairs. Okay. We, we cut a hole into the floor. Okay. And we're going to be uh, making it, you know, like out in the mall, you can look over the rails and you can see the stores down there and stuff. Yeah. We're going to do that up here so we can see down into your store. So We're not below Justice. Well, it's close enough. You know, you're kind of off to the side a little bit. You're, you're right below us. Okay. But anyway, um, like it's gonna be, we're we're gonna start cutting through your ceiling here in a minute. So you're gonna see like okay. a little saw blade in the ceiling, you know, cutting around. But don't worry, it's not gonna fall. We've got it all figured out up here. We're gonna pull it up, and we're gonna set up a rail, and our customers will be able to look over, and we can wave at you. Be like hi, well, you know. Why are we doing this? Just you know, just I don't know. Just we're, we're making the space our own. I just thought it'd be cool. We could set up displays around the rails and stuff. We've, we've already got the rails put up. We just got to saw out the ceiling. This is Justice in the mall? Yeah, upstairs. I think you need to have the mall office call me. No, no, it's cool. Like, we, we, asked, uh, we asked them, uh, like, last year, and they, they're like, sure. Just let us know when. No. What? What's the problem? No, nothing's getting drilled into my store without the oh, mall no. office calling. No, me. we're not going to drill. It won't take up any of your space or anything. It's just it's going to open up the the whole area. It's going to make it look more open. No. And we'll be able to look down and be like, "Hey." I'm sorry, and who is this? This is Chad from 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 Justice. Like it's not a big deal. It's going to make it cool. Like it's going to be good promotion for your store cuz people that are up here shopping, they'll be able to look downstairs and see you at the crazy eight and i'm sorry somebody from the mall needs to call me i am from the mall i'm i'm at justice no i i and need somebody from the mall management to call me about this oh, i don't see why you're getting upset it's not like you own the store it's it's the mall's place 
but I'm not allowing anything to be drilled to my wall. It's without not drilling. The mall manager. We're not going to drill. Excuse We're going to saw. Me. Excuse me. I'm not allowing anything to be called without the mall management. Well, you don't have a say in it. You don't even own the place. Okay, I'm hanging up now. We're just Thank making you. this. We're making the space our own. Damn it, Courtney. And Justice is too right upstairs from this place. Oh, Journeys. Not Justice. It's called Journeys. Oops. I completely messed that up, didn't I? Damn it. Justice is like three doors down. Whatever. Close enough. All right. That's the end of today's calls. Let's listen to some voicemails. Hi, Brad. This is Shitty Little Biscuit, 12345 at DirtyBackside.com. Uh, okay. You shouldn't have called those layaway customers and made fun of them for being poor. Uh, we're going to sue you for defamation of character. Ah, shit. And we're charging your account for our troubles. I think the statute of limitations has expired on that, hasn't it? It's been so long since I've done that. Thank you very much. Good your luck. Your friends with... at DirtyBackside.com. Good luck with that. 12345. I'd like to see you try. Hello, this is Crazy Dude, a member of the SE Mafia, and I demand a link to your Discord server. I already mm -hmm. have your docs right in front of me, right. and I'm going to release it unless you send me that link. That link can be sent to me at crazydude at dot com. Okay. Thank you. Have a terrible day. I'll get that sent right over. Or you could just look in the show notes and see the direct link to the Discord server, along with the link to the Reddit and the Facebook group and the Twitter and the YouTubes and the Vine. Does the Vine still exist? Probably not. I should take that out of there. There's a Tumblr link too. Aren't they killing Tumblr? But yeah, all the social links are in the show notes of every single show at snowplowshow.com, you big dummy. Hi, Brad. Hey. Um, I have breaking news. Oh, I'll shit. I'll wait for that. Oh. Okay. All right. Thanks, man. Love you. Love the show. Oh, what? Hey. I just got tricked. Hey, Brad. It's Seth in reality. Hey. Dude, I haven't called in a while, and that's not usually a good reason to call in on yeah, its own. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. But I have to mention. Cut it out. You as Carol calling the mall stores and telling everyone to quiet the fuck up, shut the fuck up, and all that stuff. Yeah. Dude, I nearly peed my pants. Like, I haven't had that issue. It didn't work out so good today, did it? People don't respect Carol like they do Santa. They get mad at I was Carol. I like seven years old, but I'm telling you, <laughs> I had to check my pants a few times, bro. Uh, that shit had me cracking up. I hate that. Cracking up. Now, shut the fuck up. All right. Bye. Thanks, F in reality. Hey, Brad. It's Jack from Massachusetts. Hello. I had a question for you. Have you ever had uh, your kids on the show? Yeah. And have they found out about uh, your prank call wonders? Thanks. Yep. Cactus. They know all about it. My son was on the phone show like 10 years ago. One of my listeners said he wanted to rip out his vocal cords. That was great. Hey, Brad. It's a long time caller again. Uh, I was just listening to Carlito's show, uh, My House Radio. Um mm. You yeah, nice, nice plug, Carlito. We are talking about uh, what to do for Christmas. You know, y'all were talking about calling up Norad and all that. And y'all were talking, talking about doing some uh, on the helicopter stuff again. Rad and Nay. I was thinking, you know, y'all should be, you know, Santa's uh, airborne escort, you know? You could, like, uh, call places and say, like, yeah, we need y'all to, like, clear off the roof so Santa can land, you know, shit like that. I don't know. You yeah. Know, work with it. Okay. Right, whatever. Anyways, I'll, talk later. I'll Bye. pencil that in. Me and Carlito, we're going to do that on Christmas Eve. Maybe Royco Roofing could give them a hand. Hi, Roy. It's Dow. It's been a really long time. It sure I has. got the email that you sent me today in reply to an email that I sent like six months ago. Yep. Like, how dare you just forget about me like that? Yep. This is not nice. I got caught up on emails recently, by the way, everyone. So the cycle is now starting over again. I'll be quick with my emails for a day or two or maybe even a week and then I'll get really behind on them again and forget about everything. I was hoping for, I finished the race car. I have a spot right there for sticker. Oh, right, right yeah, behind that, the You're going to be disappointed in that sticker. It's tiny. Right behind the window. No, but seriously, I'd still be keeping up with the show. I'm just not, I'm just not contributing to the conversation. Okay. All right, Roy. Whatever. You have stuff. Great okay, one. Okay, bye. bye. Enjoy that tiny sticker for your car. Hello, Brad. Uh, this is the Zodiac speaking. You know, Ooh. the Zodiac killer. Yeah. I'm a big fan of the show, yes. and uh, I'm a big fan of your work with Jean Bonnet. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say, keep up the good work, and you're hilarious. Thanks. Peace out. I try. This is a public service announcement from Default Urine. Nobody likes a sore loser. 
but everybody loves a phone loser. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Default Urine. That was pretty deep. Hey, I agree with that last caller uh, that said that there's a lot of us that don't have uh, social media. Like caller, me, what? I'm old. With old guys still listening to prank calls. Things in like fast text or something. I don't know. Anyways, no. also, can you please borrow our page from Carlito's show and, and apply for work? That'd be funny. Okay. Bye. All right. Carlito hasn't done that in a while. He gets an actual newspaper from a store and goes through the job ads and tries to get jobs. It's awesome. He needs to do more of that. Oh, geez. Okay. Yeah, this is... Uh, I just heard him say he's calling from a payphone. Quality is awful. Get ready for this, everyone. Hey, Brad. Calling from a payphone he found in his college. And I can't understand the rest. He said, Cactus, Cactus. You need to ask for your quarters back on that call. That payphone sucks. Hey there, Brad. I was wondering if you had any VOIP recommendations for people maybe wanting to set up an asterisk box. Because I'm not really sure which one to get. Call Centric. Uh, They're nice. Just wondering. I don't know if you want to tell everybody the one that you're using, but yeah, I'm looking for a good one. So if you can recommend me one, that would be great. Okay. Thanks, Brad. It sounds like a trick Talk to, you later. to find out which VoIP thing I'm using. But I'm pretty happy with CallCentric. It's callcentric.com. They used to give you uh, free incoming numbers. I mean, they still do, but they're going to discontinue that in a couple months. And I have to start paying a dollar a month for them, but it's still a really good deal. And then outgoing calls, you can get those for, I think, unlimited calls for 20 bucks a month. I've never done that, but then you can do 500 minutes for something else, like $7 a month, maybe. I forget. The rates are all on callcentric.com. You can't spoof your caller ID, though, with it. For that, you might want to use FlowRoute. That's the only place I found that lets you spoof your caller ID flowroute.com and they're pretty reasonable too i like flowroute i've been using them for years hello brad it is micro corgi seems like i'm calling you all the time now yeah what the hell but i'm driving Stalker. back from a paintball game where i just got shot in the heart and the dick that sucks and uh it's always fun to listen to your shows anytime i'm driving because otherwise it's just boring i was listening to your most recent phone show where you have a uh, play with you to play a character and you said you had no idea what clipping is. As quite a self-proclaimed audio genius, I wanted to let you know, I know what clipping, clipping is. is when you have a uh, lower threshold on the recording device than the input that's actually coming in. So instead of those curvy waveforms for sound, it becomes square when it hits the limit. And it gets rid of a lot of detail and it sounds like shit. So don't clip. Yeah. Use a good recording device. Don't be a hobo. Okay. Cactus, cactus. Love you. Thanks, Micro Corgi. But I know what clipping is. These voicemails clipped several times because I try to keep the volume up as high as I can, but sometimes it goes up a little bit too high, and I quickly turn it down to avoid more clipping. But it happens a lot. It happens a lot in phone calls, too. I don't know why I would say that I didn't know what clipping was, though, during one of the PLA call-in shows. That's weird. What the hell's wrong with me? Hey, Brad. Hey. Just a quick question for you. Okay. When you're out on, like, a date... What do you tell them Dating, what that? you do? Like, do you say you're a podcaster? I'm pretty damn sure you don't say you're a prank caller. Yeah. Anyway, bye. That's something I have not had to deal with yet in the past year. The person I'm seeing currently, I, you know, it's somebody I already knew from, you know, years ago. And she knows about my shenanigans. But I can just see that being hard to explain, like not just with dating, but like anywhere people ask what I do. And used to, it was like a pain in the ass to try and explain what I did for a living, like as a, you know, doing private investigator type work, because they always had lots of questions for that. But now that seems easy by comparison. In fact, I've had people ask me what I do for a living and I just tell them I still do private investigator work because I don't want to sit there and explain podcasting or prank calls and all that. But yeah, I'm going to have to figure out a, a good way to explain all that because it's a weird topic for non-internet people. Somebody asked me what I did for a living about a month ago and I'm like, oh, you know, just internet things and quickly change the subject. So they probably think I'm a cam whore or something. That's going to be real fun for the next apartment I rent or the next time I use an accountant to do my taxes. I haven't done that in a while. I usually do my own taxes, but... Yeah, I gotta think of a good cover story. 
Really, I can just say I do a call-in show, right? I've been doing a call-in show like every week. Oh yeah, by the way, that reminds me. I did a call-in show yesterday on Saturday with Rappy McRapperson. It was a lot of fun. We did the video thing. I haven't posted the show yet because I've been really busy this weekend, but I'll get it posted this week very soon. Me and Rappy talked for about an hour on the air and people called in and asked some questions and it was fun. And this coming week, Riley is going to be doing a show with me. That's going to be on Wednesday, I think Wednesday evening maybe, or late afternoon. So you see, that's what I do for a living. I do call-in shows. Prank call shows, that's just a side thing. It's a weird little hobby of mine. That's all it is. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. But I rarely hide the prank call thing from people I actually know. Everyone knows I'm a weirdo. So that's the end of today's show. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Thanks, Jim Dusky and FOD87 and Nagler and Gobi and Random for sponsoring this episode. And thanks to the hundreds of other people over at patreon.com slash phone losers for supporting the show. Just get off this fucking bong, leave me alone.